Are you surprised, Bruce Willis? Yes. Yes, I knew he would be. I mean, even though I went over everything yesterday, I knew he'd forget. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Demi Moore. I was married to Bruce Willis for the first three Die Hard movies. Which makes sense, because the last two sucked. <laughs> After all these years, I have to say, you know what, you look good. I mean, you still look the same from the eyebrows up. <laughs> but we had some great times together. I mean, we shared a lot. I had three beautiful, amazing children. <laughs> Four, if you count Bruce. And then there's the dogs and Ashton, so it's like six, but you know. <laughs> I mean, so, and of course, you know, like we did argue over the kids' names. And in the end, Bruce won. That's how they got stuck with Willis. <laughs> but I have to say, our daughters are incredibly well adjusted, considering two of them are half Bruce Willis. <laughs> but let me just say, he is a great father. I mean, seriously. I mean, every Christmas, right after he would have the girls go make him his special coffee with medicine, <laughs> I mean, he would come down the chimney in the wife beater t shirt, waving that gun, saying, Yippee Kaye, motherfuckers! <laughs> and then, I mean, that's what he's always called them. And they just, they just love his taglines. I mean, but I, what you might not know, Bruce is super, I mean, really generous. I mean, when our daughter Rumor was a baby and it was his turn to change the diaper in the middle of the night, he'd lean over and whisper and he'd say, I'll give you $1,000 right now if you change that diaper. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't do it because, well, the lawyer said, don't worry, we'll take care of it, we'll get it in the end. <laughs> Scout asked me not to say anything, but just last week, he offered her $1,000 to change his diaper. <laughs> I mean, you know, some things never change. They don't. I mean, we were married, let's see, almost 12 years, and that's like 84 in Bruce Willis years. <laughs> but I was there for some special moments, like groundbreaking, I mean, when Bruce, um, was he, he got his career-breaking moment in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I mean, it was... It seemed really odd at the time. I mean, he's big action star, like, doing a little indie film. But Bruce went over to Harvey Weinstein's hotel. <laughs> and I don't know, he came back swinging that ball gag. And man, he said, I got the part. <laughs> I mean, it's funny the things we do for a part. Like, I know that I have dyed and cut and styled my hair, and I can't tell you how, a million ways, but not Bruce. I mean, that's his real hair. <laughs> and ladies, let me tell you, the carpets match the drapes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he's bald down there. I'm just saying whichever place you look, it looks like a dick. You know, after our divorce, he said um, that he considered the end of our marriage his biggest failure. But Bruce, don't be so hard on yourself. You have had much bigger failures. I mean, <laughs> Planet Hollywood, Hudson Hawk, striking distance, come on. Campaigning for Michael Dukakis? I mean, turning down Clooney's role in Ocean's Eleven to focus on playing the harmonica? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I could go on, but they said it's a, a two-hour show. So, but you know, when I look back over all the years that we've had together, we've certainly had our ups and downs, but I have to say those were some of the best times of my life. I just look at our marriage like the sixth sense. You were dead the whole time. <laughs> all kidding aside, Truly, all kidding aside, I'm really honored to be here. You uh, are someone I truly care about. You will always have a special place in my heart. I'm so grateful that you're in my life, in our children's lives. And no matter what, you will always be family. You've been a great friend, a great father, and easily one of my top three husbands. 